JMS Free Music. I recently learned that there is about to be a new virtual singer released, which finally accomplishes something that I was hoping for when I first got my hands on virtual sing technology five years ago. The technology that I originally got my hands on uh, back then was Vocaloid. Uh, it was already in version 2 by then, but uh, I happened to acquire Lola, a Vocaloid 1 voice, uh, through an eBay auction. At the price at the seller, I had no idea what he had in his hands and was getting rid of. But uh, I instantly fell in love with the concept of being able to type in lyrics in a language and have it sung back to you in that language so long as you had a voice that supported that language. Lola for English was perfect for me. But I wanted something that could do the same in French. Now almost exactly five years have gone by and I just recently learned that Alice is about to be released um, by a group out of France uh, from just north of Paris, a group called Voxwave. Um, so March 10th of this year, Alice will be released. And uh, here's the trick. She does things in French and Japanese, which is great. Um, unfortunately, I don't read or write Japanese, so that half of the voice bag is not too useful for me. But she does French, which is great. And her voice from the demos I've heard online is phenomenal. Um... The trick, though, is she doesn't use Vocaloid technology. She uses Alter Ego. Um, Alter Ego is developed by Plogue. And this is a company that I already knew because of their Sforzando sound font. Um, um, well, it's their Sforzando virtual instrument that allows use of sound fonts in programs that support VSTs but not sound fonts. So that's how I, that's how I could use sound fonts in Machina, for example. And, you know, through that, I ultimately learned about Alter Ego. I downloaded it, got the Daisy Voice Bank that was f that's free for it, that was available at the time. Played around with it for about five minutes. It was interesting, but not particularly useful for me at the moment, so I kind of set it aside. Alice is making me take another look at Alter Ego. The problem, however, is that I recognized right away that it would be very easy for Alter Ego, the, the cursor within Alter Ego, to get out of sync with where the playhead in a Machina project is at any given point. So I knew I needed to f try to figure out a way around that since I intend to make use of Alice when she's officially released in March. So, to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I've put together a small project here. Um, we have the Daisy boy voice bank that comes with Alter Ego here on um, Project Group C. Uh, group B is some supporting strings. Group A is uh, percussion, um, the 801, 808 bass percussion. So let's hear what we've got first without a voice. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing to write home about by any means. So let's add in Daisy. Now, I've already got her loaded up here, of course. The Daisy voice bank, by the way, that comes free with uh, with Alter Ego has a number of uh, different... Uh, it's one voice bank with a number of different uh, settings within it. Um, I personally like Daisy Choir best. Um, there's some that you can make her sound like a gremlin several that make her sound somewhat masculine as well. Um, so whatever floats your boat for the project that you're working on. And here are the lines of text or lyrics or whatever you want to call them that I've plugged in for the test. Um, if not all of these lines make sense to you, you may want to take a trip back to the 70s and 80s. Um, even the 60s actually for line, uh, for line 01. So let's hear how this sounds right now especially if we play the entire project from the very beginning. Okay, 
Now let's move the playhead and Machina to the beginning of of the third scene, Penfold Shush. <laughs> And that's exactly the problem that I knew I was going to have, especially when working in Machina or even within a DAW for people who work that way. Invariably, there are going to be times when you get everything down to a, to a certain section that you just loop again and again and again. You keep playing it, you keep playing it while you're tweaking MIDI notes or maybe changing parameters of a particular instrument that you have in that section, try, trying to find you know the right thing. But if if this doesn't sync up properly, if you know if the lyrics don't sync up properly with where the playhead is in Machina or in Reaper or whatever your DAW is, then things would get very out of whack very quickly. That's the problem I'm trying to. I was trying to figure out how can I solve this uh, fortunately the answers are right here this uh, this question mark goes to the alter ego help page on the plug website and even the help page recognizes the issue the second line here because the song can be played starting from any position the text cursor may end up getting out of sync with the song as we've just demonstrated the solution comes in one of several different ways. MIDI CC2 will set the cursor to a text line. For instance, if Alter Eco receives CC2 value 57, the text cursor will be set at the beginning of line 57 for the next note. And all of these text lines, these all fall under CC2. So that's not a moon, would correspond with CC2 value 00. He's dead, Jim, value 01. That's fine. However, and we we could control CC2 without a problem in Machina. Come down here, add a new modulator. Oops, let me move this out of the way. Um, right click, add a new modulator. Um, and here it's actually called set line is CC2. Um, but here's the problem. In Machina, modulators go from 0 to 1 in increments of 0 0.01. So in other words, whereas there are 100 potential text here that could be utilized, there are only 101 potential values over here, so we're losing 27. If nothing else, think of it as a rounding error, right? So we need something a bit more specific than that in order to make sure that we're doing this correctly. So this is not an option, so let me just kill this modulator. So if we come back over here, um, MIDI patch change will do the same thing as CC2, provided for convenience for some MIDI controllers. I just bought a new MIDI controller in Arturia Mini Lab. Um, have not really taken the opportunity to dive into it yet to see if it even does have patch capability. Even if it does, what if two years from now I'm using a different MIDI controller? What if I'm using my Yamaha PSS480 as a MIDI controller? I don't know if it can do patches. I, mean, I haven't gone through its manual yet. <laughs> um, and given that it is, it was created in the mid-1980s, it probably can't, is my guess. So we need another option. And that's on this line here. Key switches, low notes from 0 to 23 will trigger line 0 to 23. Higher notes cannot be triggered with key switches. That is the key here, at least for Machina. So, key switches. My initial th note 0 to 23 was that this would start at, uh, uh, yep, here we go. My initial thought was that it would start at C0. But, fortunately, the, the, uh, the, the piano roll in Machina goes all the way down to C negative 2 and it's actually this range here from C negative 2 all the way up to B negative 1 that's the area that handles these key switches from notes 0 which is C negative 2 to note 23 which would be B negative 1 now on top of that there's a bonus of sorts at least based on my experience 
with some other virtual instruments I've utilized in the past that have key switch capability. With some of them, the key switch has to be activated before the intended note actually plays, otherwise it doesn't work. In this case, Plogue, thankfully, has set it so that a key switch and a note intended to be played can both be triggered at the same time. So in other words, this means that if we were to really zoom in here, let me scroll back up to the MIDI notes, close that for a moment, you see that, and we're looking, um, we're looking specifically at that's not a moon. The word that starts exactly on the downbeat, um, on uh, beat one, and the key switch can go there as well. So let's put in the key switch now. Since that's my first line, that will be line zero zero. In here we go. That's line zero zero here in alter ego. I want to put my key switch right there on C negative two. That's effectively note zero. And let's go to he's dead. Note one would be C sharp negative two. Penfold shush is uh, row, is row zero two here. So in effect note three. So it goes here. Did I do that? Goes there. Now if I go through each of these sequentially, you'll see that I'm going up a half step each time as I go through the sequence. So now let me take that out. So now let's go ahead and play this whole thing and see what we've got. Okay, now I'm going to try it again, this time moving scenes around as it plays, and let's make sure everything still lines up. Yes, it does work. Everything lines up properly. That solved the issue that I was most concerned about. So now, once Alice is officially released on March 10th, I can I know confidently now that I can make use of her in Machina, and everything should be just fine. Now here here's a bonus, and this I had not looked at before because. Sure, when I first got uh, Alter Ego, I looked at it for about five minutes. It was interesting and moved on. Now that I see actual use for it, um, that's when I started thinking, okay, well, there are other variables here. How, how can we utilize them? Um, well, if you look around the, the interface, you have CC values in a number of different places. Um, phoneme speed, wave rate, um, legato can be turned on and off using uh, using um, CC attack uh, all sorts of things but a lot more control as well over how she sounds but also how she sings she being a female voice in this case so let me rearrange this back to what we had before and I'm going to use that's not a moon as an example since we have a long long note long note two short notes and an even longer note. What I'm going to do in this case is duplicate the scene. Uh, let's pull, pull it out here. Let's go that's not a moon two, and I'm going to duplicate this particular pattern as well. Actually, I've already got it from before. All right, so. Here's what I want to take a look at. Right now it's in mono, which uh, which I'm going to need. Here's what happens right in. In fact, I'll just zoom in on this particular scene by itself so it will loop. And here's what will happen if I play this currently in mono where I've got these overlapping notes. That's not, that's not, that's 
wanted it to sound more like before, then I can't have anything overlapping. Right. Now, what I want is for the last, you know, for the word moon to have, you know, to, to turn to legato so I can have it step up a little bit. And that's where this CC comes in here for legato. So I'm going to come back down to my modulation section. CCC24 should be page three. Here we go, page four, legato mode. And close this for a moment, expand this up so we can see, see it better. Now this is currently set to a value of one, which is on but I don't want it on all the time. So I'm going to draw in a note right here at the very, or draw in a point right here at the very beginning and one right here as well on the beginning of the note that where I want the change to begin. Make sure that's a value of one for on, make sure that's a volume of zero for off, value of zero for off. Now let's go back here and keep an eye on this point here. This indicates whether legato is on or off. Even better control. This will provide even better control over the lyrics that are sung and, ha and how they're presented. So hope, and this can be done with you know all the CC values that are uh, that are listed in plug or, or, or in um, alter ego. So hopefully this has uh, been very helpful for others, especially those of you who are just now thinking about getting Alice and to start making some uh, some songs with her when she's released on March 10th. I know in my case, now that I know that I can utilize Alice in Alter Ego and Machina, now I have a bigger challenge, trying to remember enough French from when I lived in France 20 years ago so that I can adequately create some lyrics for songs. We'll see how that challenge goes.